The city needs trees. They help clean the air. They reduce the urban heat island effect. They drink up stormwater and transpire it back into the air. They also provide much needed habitat for insects and animals. And that includes us. I'm with Greg Levine. He's the co-executive director of Trees Atlanta, an organization that's devoted to our urban canopy. Greg, obviously your mission is about trees. So go into a little more depth about the importance of trees in our city. Well, Trees Atlanta's mission is actually to plant and conserve trees, but also educate people about the importance of trees. Right now we're on the Beltline Arboretum. An arboretum is a tree museum. So it's a perfect way to educate the public about the importance of trees and see the value and beauty in them. We have one of the most forested cities in the country. We also lose up to 50 to 60 acres a day. Naturally, it's a mostly deciduous forest. Really beautiful, a lot of diversity. Some of the highest amount of diversity from plants and trees in the country. We have a unique opportunity here on the Beltline, this great urban green space. So this is a new canvas for you all to bring more canopy back to the city. 20 years ago we were discussing there is no arboretum in the city and, and the, this project landed and we had an opportunity to do a 22 mile length arboretum. It's pretty amazing and we were real excited to become part of this project. So we've started to plant on the, the west side in the last two years. We started working on the east side where you're looking at a beautiful uh, portion of our meadow which is part of a forest as well. This was a pilot little arboretum space, and you can see there's four or five really nice trees, including one of the largest scarlet oaks in the city, the big tree over there. And we had problems with erosion. We really wanted to reestablish it so that we don't lose these trees. So what you can see is these piscines, which are this beautifully natural fencing that, we that weaves through the slope. Mm -hmm. Those are keeping the erosion from coming down the hills, also collecting soil and moisture, and, and therefore allowing plants to reestablish that slope. We also added a lot of trees and shrubs. We planted some beautiful sumacs, um, blueberries, native azaleas, and a number of other plants to kind of reestablish that slope as well. It's really great to have a, a solution, be something that's so beautiful and sculptural. The fascines act as that, both a sculpture, but also solving a, a, a bit of a problem. How important are volunteers to your organization's work? We have about 5,000 active volunteers, and the majority of what we plant, probably 80 to 90%, are planted by volunteers. We actually have a, a group called Weeds and Wine that actually weeds this prairie. They literally come out on an afternoon, they weed for three hours, and then one of these great restaurants like Parish and uh, Two Urban Licks will actually donate a couple of drinks and a little bit of food for everybody. It's really a really fantastic partnership, which I think so much of the Beltline has become a, a really group truly working at a partnership level. So how can people get involved with Trees Atlanta? There's two ways to get involved. They can either volunteer with Trees Atlanta, going to, going to the website, treesatlanta.org, sign up as a volunteer. It's actually so much opportunity. Every citizen in the city of Atlanta could probably have a day of volunteer every single week. And it makes the city greater and better. And again, it really brings some pride to being an Atlanta citizen. Volunteering with Trees Atlanta and helping build our urban canopy. That's just another easy way to be green. At Green Shorts, we tell these stories because we believe that we all have to work together toward a greener future. Our mission is to help you see green so you can be green and save a little green. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video to help spread the message. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe for new videos every Thursday and Saturday.